In this video, we will study the pathology of acute respiratory distress syndrome. First of all, you need to understand its brief pathophysiology. This disease, acute respiratory distress syndrome, occurs when some pathological agent damages the respiratory membrane. And then the fluid and blood from the surrounding vessels or capillaries leak into the alveoli. Now you know that in lungs there are multiple alveoli whose main function is to contribute in respiration. But what happens if the air in the alveoli is replaced by edema and hemorrhage? Obviously, in that case, instead of respiration, there will be respiratory distress. And if this respiratory distress is caused by acute pathology, we will call this as acute respiratory distress syndrome. Now let's study the gross features in acute respiratory distress syndrome. In acute respiratory distress syndrome, as the air is lost and being replaced by edema and hemorrhages, so the loss of air will make the lungs airless. And as there is edema in the lungs, so lungs will become heavy. And also, if as there is small amount of hemorrhage in alveoli, so lungs will become dark and red. So overall, the lungs appear airless, heavy, dark and red. Now for microscopic features, you need to see this diagram and focus on three things. Firstly, there is lumen of alveoli. Secondly, there is this lining of alveoli. And thirdly, there are capillaries surrounding the alveoli. We will first focus on the capillaries. Now, as we discussed that acute respiratory distress syndrome is initiated by some acute pathology. So, in response to that pathological damage, the inflammatory process starts. And as there is inflammatory process going on, so capillaries become congested and show increased number of neutrophils. So, in capillaries, you see congestion with blood and you see increased number of neutrophils in the capillaries. Secondly, as the lining of alveoli is being damaged, so you will see necrotic epithelial cells and you will see hyaline membranes lining the alveoli, which are highly characteristic of acute respiratory distress syndrome. These hyaline membranes are eosinophilic membranes that are made of fibrin and dead epithelial cells. So what are hyaline membranes? They are made of fibrin and dead or necrotic epithelial cells and they line the alveolar boundaries. And thirdly, as you know that inflammation causes exudation of fluid out of capillaries. So you can see that alveoli are being filled with edema, neutrophils and hemorrhage. So overall on microscopy you see congested capillaries with neutrophils. You see edema and hemorrhage in alveoli. And you see hyaline membranes lining the alveoli that are made up of fibrin and necrotic epithelial cells. Now here is an additional point that in organizing stage of acute respiratory distress syndrome, fibrosis starts to happen in alveoli which we call as intraalveolar fibrosis because this fibrosis is happening inside the alveoli. So we call it as intraalveolar fibrosis. So this concludes a brief pathophysiological or pathological review of acute respiratory distress syndrome.